Hello, Chatterboxes. Thank you so much for stopping by. I am Chit Chat, and this is my good friend, Caitlin. Hi, guys. So Caitlin and I have been wanting to do an art collab for quite a while now, and we actually did one back in October for Halloween, and it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And we were trying to figure out, what do we want to do that will be entertaining? Let's put that word, very entertaining. Um, so we came up with this wonderful idea that we are calling Random Fandom. With this series, one of us picks a character from a fandom that the other person doesn't know about, gives them a bit of a loose description, and then they have to draw it. Mm -hmm. And so Caitlin, for this episode on my channel, is going to give me a character from an anime I've never even heard of. He doesn't watch a lot of animes. I am a huge anime nerd. So this is gonna be pretty interesting. Yep, so I'm gonna have him draw Migumin from Konosuba. It's an adorable character. I think he's gonna have a lot of fun. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, yeah. I go ahead and judge me all you want in the comments below, but this this should be fun. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and switch over to the tablet view, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start drawing. All right. Okay, Caitlin, give it to me. All right, so imagine a young 13 to 14 year old witch. So in anime, she looks like a 17 year old. No, she legitimately <laughs> looks like a 13 to 14 year old. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> um, she has a large brown hat okay. with kind of like, I guess you could call it a jack-o'-lantern type of face on it. So I'm gonna need a lot of room for that hat. Yes. It's not like too big, but it's a pretty big hat. It's a witch's hat. Okay. And then um, she has shortish brown hair. Shortish brown With long hair. side bangs. Long side bangs. <laughs> okay. And uh, her outfit is kind of like a Dress with long sleeves. Dress with long sleeves. A short sleeves. dress with long okay. sleeves, and it's red and gold. Okay. And she has a cape. Red and gold. This sounds a lot like the girl version of the character that I gave you. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> and she has a cape, and then uh, she has brown, I guess, mid shin boots. And on one leg, she has a thigh high black stocking. Jesus. And on the other leg, she's edgy as fuck like Sonic Boom with leg bandage wrappings. Does she have any weapons? Uh, she has a staff. Okay. And it has like a curve at the top holding a gem. Curve at the top. That's the best way I can describe it. Curve, <laughs> so like a Rita Repulsa-esque staff. Kind of, yeah. That kind of like, uh, like. Yeah, I'm not gonna correct you, but you can interpret my description as you like. I'm, I'm doing a very, because unlike Caitlin, I have to do rough sketches first. <laughs> it's fine. Before I, before I uh, devote to a, uh, a particular look and feel. I was just like, you know, I'm just gonna dedicate. <laughs> just like, Yeah, you, de you dedicated. <laughs> and you actually did, it was really close. Yeah, I thought it was lie. a pretty dang close interpretation. I missed a couple of like key factors. I was them. perfectly fine repeating this, uh, some things. No, I wanted, I wanted the challenge. Oh, no, well, That's I think this is gonna be a challenge enough for me. <laughs> so I might have to ask for some repeats oh, on, the, uh, on the details here. Totally fine. What's her personality? Is she kind of like go get them, typical like anime character? Or is she kind of like sassy? Is she uh, a mopey character? She's like, I don't know how to describe her. I guess she kind of is like, I'm such a badass even though I'm so young. Okay, got it. Yeah. I'll give you one fun fact, if you don't mind me slightly spoiling the anime. No, that's fine. Um, when she attacks, she can only attack once because she uses literally all her power in one attack and then can't move. She like sends like a super giant fireball and then like passes out. Gotcha. Because <laughs> she's like, oh, too much. So she's a one and done. Yeah, she's a one and done. <laughs> okay, got it. And I'm working with your setup, so I'm still trying to get used to uh, how everything works. Yeah, all my quick keys. Yeah. Totally fine. Completely different from how I got my stuff set up. <laughs> She's so cute. Already, I'm just like, what the shit am I doing? <laughs> it's adorable. Okay. Um, I actually need to extend out my canvas. Yeah, go ahead. Eh. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. I did it. You did. I did it. I did it in all things. For uh, my anime viewing, and I think I said this in your video, mine is very limited to uh, whatever was on, like, Toonami. Uh-huh. So it was Sailor Moon. Um, Dragon Ball Z, which I think is like every person my age or our age. Um, let's see. There was one that I really liked that not a lot of people watched, and that was uh, Outlaw Star. Oh, yeah. And those are spaceships with like rock'em sock'em robot arms that punched each other in right. space, and I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, I never saw that one. I know 
of its ex wait no did I see that one it, it had the very tropey like oh the female character is like inside of the ship and she helps control it which they also did in that Zoid series huh yeah the one I where it was like an actual war and not just the competition right right god I don't remember it I'll have to look it up again Okay, so I remember you said one was, like, all bandaged up. Yeah, her right leg is bandaged, and her left leg is, like, a thigh-high stocking. But you said she wears boots. Yes, like, shin, mid-shin-high boots. Okay, so boots, boots, and one is a stocking. Yes. So we'll say that one's the stocking. And then the other one's just all, like... Crisscross bandages. Just a sonic boom level. And then what was, what was the attire? Uh, it's... A short red dress with short, long sleeves. Short red dress with long sleeves. And it has gold it. accents. Gold, and she does have a belt. Gold accents. Got it. Got it. I think I got this. Got it. I think I got this. Good. She also has a cape. She also has the most magnificent. Is it a full cape or is it a, like a mid cape? Like the character It goes I to gave like her you. knee. Okay. Mid cape, I guess. Okay. Just the most epic of capes. <laughs> Is there anything at the bottom of the staff, or does it kind of end? Uh, it just kind of ends. Just kind of ends, got it. And then you said it does a curly Q. So I'm basically giving her like a Rita Repulsa looking staff here. And we'll do that. And I am sure there is a lot of people cringing right now. No, I, you're getting pretty dang close. Cool, cool. There's a couple things like, there's little nitpicky things that I'm like, yeah, it's like this, but if I told you it, then it wouldn't they would just give it away. Be, yeah, it'd be too much detail. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna switch to the final sketch now. Okay. Uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and commit to some things here. That You're is, on the wrong layer. I am on the wrong layer. <laughs> let's go ahead and do the professional thing, which is locking that layer, and now we're good to go. Okay. So the one thing in anime is you can always see the character eyes through the hair. Through the hair. That is the default anime. Look. That is how hair works yeah hair is completely transparent but only for eyes that's <laughs> how it works well and sometimes ears if the ears are important if the ears are important then it will be transparent i'm so glad that you know this yeah i am your anime expert because this is the most important thing for anyone to know yes um i do have to say you have recommended some amazing shows to me uh, one of which is Giron Logan. That's a great one. And I am very upset with myself for not knowing of its existence sooner because holy cow, that was amazing. It is a great show and I always recommend it because there's some really like, I guess, pillar anime things about it. Like if you ask any anime fan, they'll know like, go, go, fight the power because that's from Giron Logan or like, uh, believe in the me who believes in you. That is words to live by exactly so there's certain things that i'm like you need to watch this so then you at least know like that is the anime thing like 100 percent, that is what you say like this is where it came from this is the beginnings your right. dogs are trying to break into this room i know i'm sorry would you like me to go silence them no it's perfectly fine i need you here for moral support okay great <laughs> <laughs> you cannot leave until this is completed <laughs> right you will either Rejoice or cry, hey, depending it, on the next few strokes I, here. I think it looks good. Okay, I'm uh, I'm also getting used to your brushes because they're way different than mine too. You can um, I have a bunch of them up here if you want no, to try a I'm, one. No, I'm committing to this one. Okay, you can also make it smaller. Yes. If you need to. Oh, but yeah, going back to the anime recommending, I think I'm pretty okay at recommending different anime because I also introduced you to Ruby, and I'm glad I did. Yeah, I mean, that was because I was such a big fan of Red vs. Blue. When I saw that series, when it first came out, I'm like, ah, not really for me. And I'll even still stand by the first season was very difficult for me to get through. Mm -hmm. um, but afterwards, like, I fell in love with it. Like, yeah. absolutely fell in love with that series. It is great. I, I love it. It is fantastic. And the fan base is amazing, too, because when I did that voiceover thing, um, the Ruby voiceover video, just the res like there were a few negative things, but it was, I would say it was like 97% positive and just people were really cool. Yeah, yeah. I think the fandom is really, I guess, supportive of each other and really chill. And that's such like a rare thing mm -hmm. in fandoms, you know? So yeah. that's, that's definitely something special. 
Yeah, and it's hard to balance. Like, there's so many anime and things that I want to watch. Like, I finally got around to Yuri on Ice, which is like... I've been hearing so much about so that lately. It's so good. It's so good. And it's freaking cute and adorable. And, ugh, it's so good. And the music is really great. But, like, I got into it when it was already, like, ten episodes out. Um... So I just got in so late because with, you know, work and doing videos and all that stuff, you know, it's hard to have free time. Oh, you don't have to tell me twice. Oh, yeah, you know, <laughs> you know exactly. Like, just recently I, I played a game for myself and it was uh, a game I definitely recommend to you. And I've talked to you about it and it was uh, uh, Ori in the Blind Forest. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, it's a beautiful freaking game. It's yeah. so good. Yeah, it is so stinking good. I have that on my list. And I did the same thing. I recently, finally, finally, the new Tomb Raider was released for PlayStation. And, because it's been on Xbox for so long. Um, so, right when it was released for um, PlayStation, like, I didn't even realize it was. So, I think it was, like, a couple weeks later. I was like, I am buying this and I am giving myself a couple day break because I've been working my butt off. And it is such a good game. Yeah, it really is. And the DLC for it is really good, too. Yeah. Um, there's, like, a zombie mode one, which, you know, you're like, oh, zombies. How cliche. But it's actually, it's intense because you have very limited resources and the zombies never stop coming. And you basically need to get to a certain area of the mansion, which I think is random each time. Or you're dropped randomly in the mansion each time. Huh. Um, and you have to basically go turn off the thing that's making the zombies. Interesting. Yeah, it's really cool. And then there's a more story-driven one. That one's more just like uh, how long can you survive type thing. Oh, okay. But then there's a more story-driven uh, DLC, which I haven't played yet because that requires a lot more time. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's so cute. I love, like, the boxy style. Yeah, I mean, the reason, the reason that that style exists for me, um, one, I was really influenced by uh, Mega Man growing yeah. up. Um, I didn't get into the Mega Man series until Mega Man uh, X. And if you look at their proportions, they are all kind of boxy. Uh -huh. And I really like that. But it's also because I think of things in an animation sense for Flash. Right. The boxier things are, the easier it is to separate them out into layers and animate them and still hide the seams of the objects. Yeah, that makes so, sense. So like I could break, like I'm showing Caitlin, but like I could break it up here. I could break it up here, I could break this up here, and then just keep going. Right. Yeah, in terms of like other like boxier styles, I've been finding myself really enjoying drawing in panty and stocking style. Yeah, that's a really great style. It's so fun. Like I, I love all the extreme angles and curves and such. Oh. Who did that series? Oh my gosh, I'll have to look that up. Did they, have they done anything else since then? Um, well, there's talk that there might be a season two because they just released on their Twitter Whatever the studio is, because they left um, that they left that open, and that was not okay. Right. That was rude. <laughs> it's like, uh, wait, what? Um, but yeah, no, there's there's been talk going around that there is going to be a new season, but it's not like a hundred percent confirmed. Because literally, it was like a silhouette of the two of them, and then it says coming soon. And I'm like, okay, well, what does that mean? Is that a new a is new that a season? comic? Is right. It a, or a manga? Yeah. Who knows. Let's see, it was animated by Gynax. Okay. What else have they animated? I think that's the one thing that turned me off from anime growing up is because they all look so similar. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I, how am I supposed to know which one's good and which one's not when they all look so much the same? Whereas even Ameri like a lot of American animation, especially now, follows a very specific design sense. Like they're all trying to be the next Dexter's Laboratory. Right, of course. Like all of them. And it's really it's really upsetting because that's why I loved American animation so much is because you look at Johnny Bravo and then Ed, Ed, and Eddie. They're so different from each other. You look at Courage the Cowardly Dog and Powerpuff Girls. They're so different. Yeah, they have a lot of diversity. Ver yeah, variants. What's that one that we watch occasionally where it's the schoolboy, but he always, they always try to mess with him, but he always finds a way to make it look good? Oh, uh, Haven't You Heard I'm Sak or Sakamoto, I, I think. I love that series. It's so it's good. It's so funny. It's, it's hilarious. I love that one. And then um, there's a lot of short form ones I've been really digging. Like, I think I showed you, um, 
Ah, uh, his name's Seki-kun. He's the one that's the kid at the desk with the white hair girl next to him. Mm-mm. Oh, man, yeah, that one's good, basically. Oh, wait, yes, you have shown me that one. Yeah, yeah, where they're in the classroom. I almost was thinking of the one where the girl turns into the gun. Oh, oh, yeah, that's that uh, really, Luluko. That one's funny as yeah, hell. Yeah, I need to watch more of that. I, I would love to watch more of that. It's, it's one of those things where I'm like, what the fuck did I just watch? And it's like, it screams trigger. And it's funny because apparently they have a uh, little cameo of their other series in that. Oh, so fantastic. there's like a kill a kill little thing and I'm I'm so excited to get to that episode. All right, so I remember that you said that the dress was red but it had gold accents. Mm -hmm. So I don't I without giving me too much detail, what kind of accents would you say they are? Are they, are they tassels? Are they It's more like um patterns. Oh, just and patterns. different areas are gold. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm not going to go crazy detailed, so I'm just going to do kind of a magey looking thing. Probably a good call. And I'm just gonna just go with some interesting things here. We'll just call it as it is. Nice. Okay. Um, did the boots have any detail on them? Are there any buckles or anything? Uh, there's like little flaps. Little flaps. Okay. Um, well, let's do, like, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with like the combat boot look here. All right, cool. We're gonna go with like a combat boot with like a flap coming out of it, like that. Yeah. Perfect. All right, this is the part where I gotta take off my glasses so I can actually see what color I'm using. Right. Boop doop. Oh, that made a world of difference. That is, not, <laughs> that is not the color that I intended to grab. Hold on a second here. Oh boy, I am probably so off right now. No, you're actually really surprisingly close. Oh, oh I said that about Captain Bucky O'Hare, and then you were like, no, I wasn't. Well, that's, to be fair. That's Caitlin's voice. No, 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 I wasn't. What are you even talking about? All right, now I need, now I need red. I need some red up in this. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Okay, so this is all gonna be red. Cool. I like this brush. I like this brush a lot. Yeah, that's the, um, if you have the, uh, Webster brush, Kyle T. Webster brush pack. Yes. That one's the clean comic brush. Ooh, I'm gonna have to give this one a try. Yeah, I use that for all my line art and then usually my base colors. See, I am such a stickler for my line art um, because I'm such a messy drawer mm -hmm. that um, I always use, uh, uh, I always I always want to say flash, but I know it's not called flash like anymore. Like animate. I always use animate and I use the line tool. Yeah, that's hard for me because like I, I actually really enjoy doing inks like traditionally. Um, back that, in art school, I would always. But that's great though. That's a great skill to have. Oh yeah, I love it. And I, I always like to draw my line art. There's some days where my hand is crazy shaky though. Like today when I recorded my episode. <laughs> but um, when it's not shaking like crazy, I love doing Is the art. cape also red? It's more of a uh, brown, a dark brownish red. Dark brownish red, got it. Yeah, like that's a very close color. I'm actually having a lot of fun with this. I'm glad. We might have to do this again. Yeah, I'm totally down. I certainly hope people like this. Yeah, and I have a plethora of anime. <laughs> I'm sure I can just find just the absolute ridiculous of old cartoons. There's that, and then like, I know you're really into Marvel and DC and Star Wars. I only know so much about all of those fans. I'm gonna make you draw Snaggletooth from Star Wars. Okay, you've shown me him, so I kind of <laughs> Oh no! I freaked out there for a second because I accidentally pressed the power button. Oh no! Um, on your tablet, because I'm left-handed and uh, all the buttons are on the left-hand side. Right, so I'm sorry. I'm trying so hard not to press them. So that's also kind of messing up my ability to draw. I'm sorry. That's totally my excuse and I'm living by it. Hey, I think this looks adorable. Um, I don't think I ever got eye color. So I'm just going to go for something just absolutely crazy. I'm feeling, I'm feeling either, I'm thinking light blue. Would I be wrong in saying light blue? Technically yes, but you can go for it. I think I'm gonna go purple. I'm gonna go purple. Okay, you're dedicating purple. I'm dedicating to purple. All right. I don't think, I, did you ever tell me a um, a hair color? Brown. Brown, that's unfortunate. Okay. I was hoping for something crazy. Yeah, not all anime characters are crazy hair. Well, in my defense, 90% of them do. No, it's fair. I'm not saying that it, 
I'm calling you out on that. It was, it's true. Like, Caitlin's calling me out. No, I'm not. She's calling me out. You heard it here, no, folks. Whatever. You heard it here, folks. Yeah, no, it's true. Like, 90% are like blue hair, pink hair, green hair, obnoxious colored hair, and then the one like brown and black hair. What was the hat color? Uh, same as the cape. Same as the cape. I oh, think. boy. Let me double check. Nope, don't tell me. We're just going to go for it. All right. That's That was the final. It's the final countdown. Oh, I got to commit to a color on this staff, but I don't want to say it's just wood because that would be boring. So I'm going to go with kind of a, I'm going to go with something like, yeah, you know what? That works for me. We're going to go with that. It is a nice green. Yeah. I want to change up the color here a little bit because it's a lot of, it's a lot of warm colors. You said she shoots fire. So this would probably be like a red gem, but you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna commit to this. I'm committing. I'm gonna be wrong, but I'm committing to this. <laughs> I think I'm done. Very cute. Yeah. Would you like to see what I would like to like? see how bad I did this. No, you did it pretty good. All right, let's see it. Hey, look at you that. You got real dang close. Dang. And then here's a full body. There we go. You okay. got really close. I wasn't, that's not half bad. No, I it like, isn't. I like her hat a lot. I know, isn't it cute? That's an adorable hat. Yeah. Okay. She's a cute character. Yeah. I really like her. I knew it. As soon as I was doing that, I'm like, yeah, this is probably a red gem, but I'm just going to go with it. Totally fine. Okay. And that is my, <laughs> let's say, interpretation of Megumi. Yeah, yeah. From, uh, what was the show again? Konosuba. Konosuba. So I need to watch that show now. It's super cute. I really like it. It's a really great anime. So we actually did another one of these on Caitlin's channel, which if you haven't seen her channel yet, I highly recommend it. It's a wonderful channel. She does a lot of cool art videos, including a really cool series called Monster Mash, where she takes multiple aspects of different animals and puts them together randomly mm -hmm. into a monster. It's really cool. I definitely recommend checking it out. All right, so that's going to do it for this video. If you like this content and you want to see more, go ahead ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to become a fellow chatterbox don't forget to check out caitlin's channel and as always i will chat with you later bye, -bye.